Why are you doing this bullshit? Oh, Suck my nuts. Start off this stream by riding our horse very far and no nonsensical direction. Blindsided me. Tied me up for some kind of ransom, I suppose. Guess that was paid, though, wasn't it? Now, come on. I'm a policeman! There you go. <laughs> Thank you. God damn these bastards. Get out of here before any more of them come along. Okay. There might be some things here if you want them. Well... Guess I'm one of the good guys. Thanks again, citizen. Three. 
Easy. Yep. You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Ah, uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us uh, handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that dead. Someone's here, boy. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Hmm. Now where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Damn 
I know I did not just get stabbed. Don't hurt me, all right? Son, I ain't leaving till I'm paid. And while I'm here, your situation's real precarious. This cash in my foot locker. I've been keeping it away from him. Yeah, that was easy, wasn't it? I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. You're wasting your time, please. I might explain why I couldn't get in the house earlier.
Jesus Christ, I keep getting attacked left and right here. Hold on out. I don't know why I would set up a tent. I don't understand that. through me and I landed on my foot and I heard a snap my legs all numb hands up now really why is everyone in this fucking universe a bastard do it I ain't gonna repeat myself died for a dollar. Congratulations. Everyone in this fucking part of the world. It's worse than Thieves Landing.
mister. Fine morning, partner. I, I am in a good mood for some reason. Maybe. We'll catch one fish. Let's see if anything's biting. We'll, we'll do one fish. Oh, now I'm fishing. Not some. Mm-hmm. It's super tiny. Oh my god. Yep. <sighs> Not going to do. Off you go then. Hey there, partner. Okay, fella. Yep. Jesus Christ. What a waste of time. Killed a deer. I thought he picked up a person. Miss Grimshaw. Hello, lady. I have like no money all of a sudden. Morning, Arthur. Always good to see you. What the hell was that? What the fuck are you talking about? Game of the year, 10 out of 10. How are you doing? Well, good day so far. Good for Hi, you. And folks of Tech Shade Bell. Never matter. Miss O'Shea. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, 
We yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yes. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh. How are you going to do him like that? I have spent the last 24 hours with one of these things up my ass. <laughs> we are ridiculous, <laughs> utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party. At Quality the smud house, craftsmanship. And the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Uh, Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Phil, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. <laughs> Man, I really know how to which missions to play for all the excitement. Per la prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Oh, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. 
They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Ciao ciao. Ciao ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill. Go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Glass of champagne, sir? Ah, get me a bloody drink, will you? A small one. Just big enough for me to swim lengths in, you know? <laughs> well, hello, gentlemen. Featherstone Chambers. Pleased to meet you. Heston James. The truth is, since your war, the country's doomed itself. I disagree. The war? The war was 30 years ago. I was just a boy. And since then, we have far more. This is quite a town. And you I apologize for that woman's... Oh, I don't live here. I was here for the poker. Oh, you play? Oh, it's, um, it's my week for my work. Business. Like no one to talk to. And you're a romantic. Oh, you just talk to it. Lola's have been a, a true romantic, a dreamer. Why don't you let me show you someday? And you think my cousin would appreciate a demonstration? Who can I speak to? I just want to be left alone. Gentlemen, uh, I hope you're having a fine evening. Uh, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. And you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskins. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Don't say you and me oh. cool off. Hello. Thank you. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sir, 
Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Need to rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? I know her. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Oh. Excuse me, Father. Excuse me, Father. Uh, Monsieur, please. Yes, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Leviticus Find Cornwall. out what. Sure. place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrapin. Hey! Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! <sighs> have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <coughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Hmm. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Sir, 
Is there some problem here? Oh, thanks. Oh, do you need something from me? <clears throat> Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? So Plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk <laughs> also pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Fully unlock the monkey suit. Oh my god, this headache will go away. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. I need a new hat. That's all the fucking is to it. Anything nearby. There's a lot of things nearby. I'm gonna do my stranger missions. Ouch. Should be able to sprint inside your camp. I want to sprint. Hurry up. Okay, bye. Damn it, hurry up and catch up. Your horse is supposed to run faster. Than
Roll up now. Help! Somebody, please help me! Oh, hey, you! Please! You gotta help me! Some fellas broke into our place. I got away, but... They got my wife! Please, mister! You gotta do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack there in the swamp by the water. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Oh my god, there's alligators. Saved your life, but I guess I'll play housekeeper. Just one more. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of how many I shot. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Uh, where's my horse? Go. Come on, pal. There we go. No, I want this. No, wait. You're good. Man. Okay there, boy. Oh, my God. Alligators no more, I promise. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, 
two points. And okay, you know what? Come on, boy. Come on now, boy. Then yep. just play that. Easy, boy. Yeah, you all right there, boy? Faster than that. Okay there, boy. Come on, come on, come on. Hey there, mister. to be my stranger. You okay, buddy? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I can walk away from what I'm trying to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. Toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, actually, no. No, no he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes. You meet him, Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas it's about the source like of life. Off brand oh, Nikola Tesla. It's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, <laughs> you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can oh, make I'm sure a fucking more. brilliant start. <laughs> <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this You're bomb. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, <laughs> show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, uh. this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? 
Oh, okay. Now blow up the little battleships and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached, making nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I think it maneuvers. Alright, alright, we're gonna see what he does! No wire like telegraph, no only system underwater, only waves. Oh, baby. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Hussein. There, I'm gone for you. <laughs> yeah, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic lines. Well, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, ah. the telegraph machine, the motor car. I'm about they to will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this Whatever. technology. Right we are that. not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. Just rays in the air, like the voice of God. And funding from us. And funding from you, of course. But what thing to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even me. Look who rules the seas. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. You avoid the mines, yes? That is what controls are for. <laughs> As I say, any pool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. Well... It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And and thank you. Um if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. Uh, there I will really amaze you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and I hope you will forgive oh, my Burp, 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 burp. Oh my god, get out the gate. Oh wait, I wanna beat this guy. I cannot interact with him. Can I run him over with my horse? Ah! Yeah, <laughs> that's what you get for talking shit. <laughs> You hosted me. I'm here. What the fuck? You came. Yeah. I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Okay. But of course, my brother from another mother. 
words Makes or... me so happy to have more people to talk to. <laughs> Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Not yet. Whenever you call Give it a few me, strokes. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you <gasps> and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for Ooh. help? Oh, Arthur. Preach, brother. Be kind to me. Please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Brother from another nutter. I am. I get it. I should have asked someone else. But. Yeah, but I'm sure. the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. No, no. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? But one thing, what's up? Come along, then. Where are we going? See, si, Senor Minecraft. What's the old what is the one thing? What's been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling, and drinking, and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy You could say it. He suffers I know. Enough. I'm not very entertaining. I can right. take some consolation in that. No, Speak Arthur. Speak your mind. The worst I thing I could do is put on a timeout. You years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... <laughs> Thank you. Well, I don't know. Very tactful. Oh, you're coming with me. So what do you think he's up to? Oh, gotcha. I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. I don't know how to respond but to that. I'm sorry. It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Well, don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Is it? This I'll is the jump place. Right off. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Oh, I was just gonna bash sure. on the door. Oh, wait here. Uh, look. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. What do you mean, is it too adult? Ask his ass. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it yours? But street? can you proofread before you here. send me stuff? Why? I said, just get out of just... here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, <laughs> I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. I've never been so demeaned in my life. 
Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's I up to no because... good. We better follow him. Okay. Well. Keep your distance or you'll be spotted. Okay, this so way. just stay behind the lady, right? Oh no, I have to take the lead. Gotcha. He went around the corner. Anybody remember he's playing Assassin's Creed? You get good at these kinds of missions. All you gotta do is stay... Keep him in your eyesight. Yeah, see why I'm so confused about what... Can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. I was confused by what you, uh, Arthur, come on. What you typed because it was like, what? Think so. That's a dinosaur, a blind Just dinosaur. I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. So, and <laughs> ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! So, I gotta. He's heading across the road. No, nope. I'll be honest with you. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Why are you going that way? Because he's going that way. See? There he goes. Cutscene. What's he doing? What do you think Touch he's himself. doing? Well, Touch he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? Uh, How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. No promises. He'll probably kill someone. Oh. <sighs> hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Damn it. Horsey, pony. Pony, horse. Oh, God. Oh, I should have taken the first horse. Stop that coach. I should have taken the first stage coach. The first horse. What are you doing? Go. 
go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. You hear me, stop the damn coach. Anticipate. And game cuts and getting worse. Not from me, but from the game. I'm just wondering again. I'm trying to be polite. You stop right now. the objective drive to a secluded spot. This okay. is insane. Where are you taking me? To a secluded spot, that's what the objective said. Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How, How much that you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. No. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. <sighs> no. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. I guess it doesn't get any better than that. Whatever. <laughs> it's not like I didn't have the money or anything. Take the damn thing. <laughs> Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who What'd you're you messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Is it too late to tell them that there's alligators in those water? He's running right towards him. <sighs> Where is this horse? Spoiler alert, your horses in Red Dead Redemption 2 aren't exactly reliable. I don't have to tap it. I can just let the game do it. Half price at Top Golf? That's insane! Where's your father? Oh my. I don't know. God. You want me to go find him again? Not really. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Through March 5th on Tuesdays, half price night. All Tuesday long, all night. Hey. Top golf. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why, well, yes. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Why not? Theater? Me? Theater? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the. Normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. 
Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course, friend zone. Friend, but... Circa 1899. You fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lim. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. If this is something I can walk away from, then you, I'm going right. to because I have sure. to. After you. Okay, I think it's a regular show. Welcome. Still part of the main mission. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm, I'm going to let this run for a minute. I'm going to... T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Here's Nero more. himself. Do not doubt. Alright, I'm going to let this play for just a minute. I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint-Denis. I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as a start or not. Are you of in a rush, the greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! I actually ultimately decided I didn't want to watch this, so, uh... You let me know if I'm gonna watch this or not, because... Take it away from all the big bang boomily boom. Thank you for that joining us. Right now. now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called San Dani.
can almost smell it. This is so... Oh, oh. Flawless. Perfect. Oh, I see you. you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Stop it. Look at that. You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. I don't know. Do I ruin the date or does it just skip everything? I haven't gotten this far. Okay. I'm gonna press Y. Uh, see what happens. And if something goes wrong, I blame you. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay, sure, if you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. <sighs> um. <laughs> All right, you better fancy that we had a great time. Now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous. But shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to. Oh. It's a place called Is San it Denis. For us, it's somewhere south of Can where I you be? originally start in the beginning. Man, and like I... northeast. Anyone. Of to me. Well, they're the original game's now. location, Can't northeast of Blackwater. Blackwater. To an end. Not London, somewhere in America. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're going to run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. And I had some. Then some fool got it trapped into a town and I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah, you will. Especially when you need some help with something. She always does, by the way. Spoiler alert. She only writes you when she needs help. Change my mind. My horse. It's funny you should say that, because there's a lot of my friends will only watch me, like Overwatch, they'll never play it, but they'll watch me play it. So it's actually really, really funny you say that. That That's a stream I don't recommend you watch me play, because passions run high, if you know what I mean. Forget it. I will make it to my destination by running before my horse gets to me.
Everybody move it. Get out of my way. Horse is nowhere close. Try again. Please. Please. It is. Um, Hello, Mr. Sister. My friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he <laughs> talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's cares for the worst! Don't hurt him, please! Where'd he go? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way'd he go? Uh, that way. Faith. Thank you. Hey, mister. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Believe your eyes don't work so good. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. Mm-hmm. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. No, this can't be it! <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. I don't know you. This is Downs? Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, uh, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help. Why does she have to go and do that? Why does the name Mrs. Downs sound familiar? Why does the name Mrs. Downs sound super familiar? Oh, now you decide to make an appearance. Why, thank you. Jump, Arthur, jump, Arthur. Come on, Arthur, what are you doing? Hey, look out! I'm sorry, there. Can I just hang out with you guys? You guys seem fun. gonna bother me for the rest of this. Where have I heard the name Mrs. Downs in this game before? Oh shoot. I didn't see that I cannot be detected. So it says, find sister or something without alerting the law. Okay. Every day, it's a new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those challenges <laughs> used to frustrate me. That was inexplicably me. easy when you do it slowly. Mr. Morgan! Uh, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> You didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is a 
greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... Whoa, you got hair. My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, father. Sister, enjoy your day. Brother. See, father? Uncle. Cousin. Hey, hello, officer. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good evening, mister. Thank you for keeping the peace. Hey, we can't catch me now. All right, better get out of here before you should decide to shoot me. What? I have a bounty. A five dot. What? The? What I got a bounty for? I don't even know that character. She wasn't worth the five bucks to get the bounty. Come on out! You coward! We gonna talk about what you've done to my wife! Oh. You're a dead man! So much for the new world! They raised the prices at the same time. Who the devil are you? As far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. This cab. I said get out of here. This is an outrage. No. Quite know why I did that. Because my is poor, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. <gasps> I am oh, is that cowboy. who that is? I must okay. do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. We met this guy earlier in the bar. We met that guy earlier in a bar who was talking about how women are a lot better than art. And don't waste your life away for art, blah blah blah, art, smart fart, all that good stuff. I had no idea that he had had relations with another man's wife. Whoops, I'm sorry. I had relations with another man's wife. Well, known fact about me, I can't see at night. <laughs> that includes in video games. Once the screen gets dark, it's hard for me to see. Oh my gosh, you get caught on everything! <coughs> Alright, you take a nice little... Is this man is in here? Nope, that didn't work. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's why we start playing this one. Well, that's why majority of us got this one because we had a love for a Red Dead one. I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody gets this game with the intent of of not having played Red Dead one. I can't find this guy. Or girl. I don't want to assume a gender. Mama's look out!
Oh my god, I'm an idiot. One moment, please. This hey. is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon and Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Uh, another Thank fetch you, quest. Tacitus. Are you serious? Very worth your while. All right, we're gonna do a main story mission now. Stupid trees. Then we're gonna call it a night for this. I have to move on to Red or to uh, Overwatch after this. I've been invited. Hey, there you are, on time. Hey, boy. Took a detour through the graveyard, I see. I'm supposed to go? Not quite, but close enough. Good job, officer. Dear boy. Yes, <laughs> oh my god, not this guy. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. 
Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault. His oh, I just... Had to I, uh, okay. I guess I don't get to choose sir. colors or anything. You see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all... Were you about to say inbreeding? Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't <laughs> think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, oh, armed man. robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Oh, we're going to the bar. Come on. I see. You're going to make me shave off all this, all this facial hair that I've worked very hard on this game to get. My good man. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? What am I doing? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Weather couldn't be any better. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. What do you want me to do? Full styles. Make him look like a prince, sir. Bodies. Ooh, I like that one. Let's go with that one. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Corrigan, sir. If I think well, this is going to go the way I think you. it's going to. From Toad? The Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happy. So, who's the mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune and... 
hosiery of all things. <laughs> hey, he thanks for the follow, bud. I appreciate it. Keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. So anyway, if this and goes the way I think it's gonna go. God damn it. Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come this on, goes come away. on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, All right. gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. Uh, okay. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. Okay, so it's very you tutorialized. My other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Hell with it. Here we go then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Okay. Mr. Bly so. wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, <laughs> but... I just look better in a suit. Wait, what do you tell me? I don't know what. I would stick keep to oil, okay. Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. What is that signal? I need faster subtitles. Whatever. I'll uh, raise all that.
Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Okay. God, are you men or mice? Interesting. They're cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your <laughs> hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I just right. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like ah. you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. King in a tent, huh? <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well. All right. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cakes. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh, that's three uh -oh. aces for him. Uh -huh. Yes, yep. little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God wow. damn you! No offense. None take. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. <laughs> Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> Come with me, sir. Uh, that is actually pretty funny. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. Oh, <laughs> that's not funny. We live in strange times. First, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. Can I just shoot this guy already? I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. I'm gonna choke him out. Choke him. Chuck him. Chuck him, chuck him. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. supposed to disarm him. Why am I so bad at that? Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Take his gun, Arthur. I know. I, I, I don't like the new Jedi feature in this game. Give a greaser a gun. 
It's more difficult, especially in duels. Idiot, huh? Looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Let's swim to shore. We can make it. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And. How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't <laughs> give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! Oh. It's gonna be nice and exciting here in a few minutes. At the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. That's wonderful. Ah, look, there's your friend. Not no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Uh, yep. Knew it. All right. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. A, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. Thank you. All right, come on, let's get out of here. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda of thought it was gonna go to heck. Oh, to heck. But thank you for the compliment. Alright, I think this is the end of this mission. And I've dedicated two hours to this game tonight. I'm gonna to take a little bit of a break, and then I'm gonna come back with some Overwatch. That one I get passionate about. So I do apologize ahead of time. I will be back. In approximately 15 minutes.